And for stars like our Sun, the collapse continues until it produces a new and exotic type of star. The Big Bang Theory is the singular most accepted theory of the origin of the universe. It states that some 13 billion years ago, there was a massive explosion that led to the formation of everything that exists now. The downside to this theory is that there is no proof of it until now. But the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope has just released stunning images of the Big Bang and what the universe looked like a few moments after it was formed. What exactly is the Big Bang Theory? How did the James Webb Space Telescope capture an event that's over 13 billion years old? And what are the consequences for our cosmology? Join us in this video as we look into James Webb Telescope's recent announcement of the first ever real image of the Big Bang. Humans are, of all living species, the most curious. It is as though there is an unbearable itch and aches to know all that there is to know. And this has been the backbone for all innovations in the world. Across fields like science, technology, arts, and psychology, our desire to know more has pushed us to achieve some greatness and a bit of evil along the way. This curiosity also applies to our origins. We all want to know where we come from. While we can explain the biology of a man and a woman coming together to procreate, there is the unanswered question of where the first man came from. The same thing goes for the universe. We want to know where the seas, stars, moon, sun, and other celestial bodies came from. A theory that has gained ground everywhere is the Big Bang Theory. The idea is simple. A couple of billion years ago, there was a loud explosion that led to everything that exists right now. So, when the James Webb Space Telescope released images of what the Big Bang looked like and the aftermath of such an explosion, the news caused a bit of a stir all around the world. From scientists to laymen, the idea of seeing and knowing what the early days of creation looked like was an unbelievable offer that could not be passed on. But to understand the gravity of such a discovery, we need to first understand what the Big Bang Theory really is. Among scientists, the Big Bang Theory is one of the leading explanations for how the universe began. Simply put, it says the universe as we know it started with an infinitely hot and dense single point that inflated and stretched, first at unimaginable speeds, and then at a more measurable rate over the next 13.7 billion years to the still expanding universe that we know today. While existing technology doesn't yet allow astronomers to literally look back in time at the birth of the universe, much of what we understand about the Big Bang comes from mathematical formulas and models. Astronomers can, however, see the echo of the expansion through a phenomenon known as the cosmic microwave background. About 13.7 billion years ago, everything in the universe, as we know it today, was condensed in an infinitesimally small singularity, a point of infinite denseness and heat. Suddenly, an explosive expansion began, flinging our universe outwards faster than the speed of light. All of these happened within fractions of a second, according to physicist Alan Guth. When this expansion, often referred to as cosmic inflation, came to a sudden and unknown end, what happened is what we have been told in the popular descriptions of the Big Bang. A flood of matter and radiation known as reheating then began populating our universe with the stuff we know today. Particles, atoms, the stuff that would become stars and galaxies, and so on. All of these being described here happened within just the first second after the universe began, when the temperature of everything was still at an unimaginable temperature, at about 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit, according to NASA. As a result, the universe was now filled with a vast array of fundamental particles such as neutrons, electrons, and protons, which are the raw materials that would become the building blocks for everything that exists today. However, it would have been impossible to actually see what happened because the mashup of atoms could not hold visible light. According to NASA, the free electrons would have caused light, also known as photons, to scatter the way sunlight scatters from the water droplets in clouds. However, as time went by, these free electrons met up with nuclei and created neutral atoms or atoms with equal positive and negative electric charges. This allowed light to finally shine through about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This light is sometimes called the afterglow of the Big Bang and is more popularly known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB. It was first predicted by Ralph Alpher and other scientists in 1948, but was found only by accident almost 20 years later. 
So, when NASA released the images of the early universe when it was just a few hundred million years old, you can understand the excitement. By observing and understanding the early days of the universe, we can fully come to terms with what the cosmos looks like today and have an idea of what to expect in the future. According to the image captured and released by the James Webb Space Telescope, the thousands of galaxies seen are about 800 million years old. This is the closest anyone has gotten to the inception point of the universe. In describing the image released, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, We are looking back at more than 13 billion years. The light that you are seeing on one of these little specks has been traveling for 13 billion years. Because we can't go back in time to see the Big Bang happen, scientists and astronomers have been working on other methods of observing the same event. In one of these methods, by simulating 4,000 versions of the current universe on a massive supercomputer, cosmologists are trying to go back to the first seconds after the Big Bang happened. In describing the latest discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, Masoto Shirasaki, a cosmologist at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, said, We are trying to do something like guessing a baby photo of our universe from the latest picture. In this same method, scientists are trying to compare their understanding of how gravitational forces interact in the primordial universe with their thousands of computer-modeled universes. If they succeed in predicting the starting conditions of these virtual universes, there is hope that they might be able to accurately predict what our universe may have looked like back at the beginning. Other scientists, however, have chosen different paths to research our universe's beginnings. According to a 2020 study, scientists tried to achieve this by observing the split between matter and antimatter. Their theory suggests that the imbalance in the amount of matter and antimatter in the universe is related to the universe's vast quantities of dark matter. Dark matter is an unknown substance that exerts influence over gravity and yet doesn't interact with light. They suggest that in the crucial moments immediately after the Big Bang, the universe may have been pushed to make more matter than its inverse, antimatter, which then could have led to the formation of dark matter. When you think of the Big Bang, what invariably comes to your mind is an explosion. You think of a scenario where there is a trigger, and in the resultant explosion, objects and their fragments are flung out from a central point into a pre-existing space at roughly the same speed. This, however, isn't what happened at the Big Bang. What actually happened was an expansion of space itself, and not necessarily the fragments or its constituents. This means that all the objects in the universe are stretching out at the same rate. Any two galaxies separated by distance x are receding from each other at the same speed, while a galaxy at a distance 2x recedes at twice that speed. One thing that makes the release of the images from the James Webb Space Telescope exciting is the fact that the universe as we know it is expanding faster with time. Yes, you might have heard that the universe is expanding. But not only is it expanding, it is expanding faster. This means that with time, nobody will be able to spot other galaxies from Earth or any other vantage point within our galaxy. In describing this, Harvard University astronomer Avi Loeb said, We will see distant galaxies moving away from us, but their speed is increasing with time. He continues by saying, So, if you wait long enough, eventually, a distant galaxy will reach the speed of light. What that means is that even light won't be able to bridge the gap that's being opened between that galaxy and us. There's no way for extraterrestrials on that galaxy to communicate with us, to send any signals that will reach us once their galaxy is moving faster than light relative to us. One exciting detour in the research of our universe's origin is that of the multiverse model. According to some scientists, the universe we experience is just one of many. In this multiverse model, different universes would coexist with each other, like bubbles lying side by side. The theory suggests that in that first big push of inflation, different parts of space-time grew at different rates. This could have carved off different sections, different universes, with potentially different laws of physics. According to Alan Gutt's statement at a news conference in March 2014 concerning the gravitational wave's discovery, it's hard to build models of inflation that don't lead to a multiverse. The theoretical physicist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology continues by saying, it's not impossible, so I think there's still certainly research that needs to be done. But most models of inflation do lead to a multiverse, and evidence for inflation will be pushing us in the direction of taking the idea of a multiverse seriously. As we consider the Big Bang and how our universe came to be, 
it is possible that the Big Bang was not the first inflationary period the universe experienced. This means that the explosion and subsequent expansion at the Big Bang might not be the first. This is a theory held by some scientists who believe that we live in a cosmos that goes through regular cycles of inflation and deflation, and that we just happen to be living in one of these phases. With the presence of the James Webb Space Telescope, it's possible to see which of these theories is most likely to be true. With a telescope, you are able to look further back in time as you are looking at lights from objects that have traveled millions of years to reach you. While the Hubble Space Telescope has been an amazing tool for astronomers and scientists as it showed us galaxies as they were many billions of years ago, the James Webb Space Telescope can look even deeper into the past. With the $10 billion shiny gem, NASA hopes it will see all the way back to when the first galaxies formed, about 13.7 billion years ago. And unlike Hubble, which sees mainly in the visible wave band, the James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared telescope, a big advantage when looking at very distant galaxies. This is especially important as the expansion of the universe means that waves emitted from them are stretched out, so light that was emitted at visible wavelengths actually reaches us in the infrared. The images taken of the Big Bang from a few million years after are a sign of the amazing things that this telescope can do. According to Catherine Whitaker, an astronomer at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, she was on a video call with colleagues last summer when NASA released the first pictures from the powerful James Webb Space Telescope. Among the many jaw-dropping images was one of a sliver of sky surrounding the galaxy, Cluster SMAX 0723. It was brimming with some of the oldest and most distant galaxies ever recorded. We would zoom in and be like, oh, wow. And what the heck is that? It was joy, pure joy, recalls Whitaker. This thrill and excitement is merely a taste of what was to come. In just its first year of scientific operations, the $10 billion infrared telescope has delivered stunning views of the nascent universe, finding large numbers of surprisingly bright galaxies that existed at a time when the cosmos was in its infancy. With its 6.5-meter mirror, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to investigate this early era, which was mostly out of reach for its predecessor, the 2.4-meter Hubble Space Telescope. Observations thus far have astonished researchers and left them trying to digest exactly what they're seeing. According to the standard model of cosmology, after the fiery Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago, the universe cooled, and energy turned into matter that eventually merged during the first few hundred million years, forming the first generation of stars and galaxies. Prior to now, astronomers thought they had a decent understanding of this process. By separating a beam of light into its constituent colors, astronomers can learn a lot about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope uses this process, known as spectroscopy, to determine the distance to different objects as the expansion of space steadily shifts wavelengths toward the redder portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Here, the light from four extremely distant galaxies reveals that they date back to less than 400 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only about 2% of its current age. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's initial results may suggest that stars and galaxies were forming far faster than anyone expected. The telescope had done nothing less, read the headlines, than break the universe and upend models of cosmic history. Subsequent data have ruled out some of the more dramatic findings, and new simulations can accommodate at least a few of the strange observations. But some bright, massive, and early galaxies continue to confound theorists suggesting that our understanding of the universe could shift in the coming years. According to Priyamvada Natarajan, a theoretical astrophysicist at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, no data at the moment has broken the universe. But I think there are interesting potential tensions emerging on different scales. Resolving these tensions will require scientists to revisit their fundamental assumptions about galactic evolution. That could mean bringing new ideas to the forefront while leaving others in the cosmic dustbin. With the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists can observe more galaxies than ever before, unlike the limitations set by the Hubble Space Telescope. In May 2009, astronauts installed one of Hubble's final and most important instruments. Known as the Wide Field Camera 3 or WFC-3, it vastly improved the telescope's ability to see in the infrared. As the universe expands, traveling light gets stretched out to longer wavelengths, or the redder portions of the electromagnetic spectrum, 
so the oldest entities can't be seen in the shorter ultraviolet or visible wavelengths. WFC3 allowed Hubble to capture the light from several record-breaking objects, including the galaxy GNZ11, which existed when our universe was only about 400 million years old. Yet, Hubble never found much from this early epoch. All they saw were a few visible but big and bright galaxies. But when the James Webb Space Telescope launched in December 2021, scientists and astronomers were able to make discoveries that, hitherto, they could not make. Some observations showed staggering numbers of galaxies potentially existing as early as 180 million years after the Big Bang. There's a lot of galaxies that are bright enough for us to detect with the James Webb Space Telescope, says Jehan Kartaltepe, an astrophysicist at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York. He continued by saying, We knew there would be some, but people were surprised at how many there are and how easy they were to find. These galaxies are also potentially more massive than cosmologists expected. The scorching conditions in the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang meant that matter couldn't settle down and condense into entities such as stars and galaxies. As the universe expanded and cooled, the standard cosmological theory holds that particles of dark matter, mysterious stuff that outweighs normal matter six to one, clumped under the force of gravity and formed massive halos. These then gravitationally attracted regular matter which slowly accumulated in the halos and produced the stars and galaxies we see today. Most models estimate that a galaxy the size of our Milky Way wouldn't form until roughly 1 billion to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Yet, in that first image of the SMAC 0723 cluster released by the James Webb Space Telescope, astrophysicist Erica June Nelson of the University of Colorado Boulder noticed gigantic red disks that appeared to be extremely massive galaxies rapidly forming stars. These dusty red elongated galaxies, six of them, all seem to have existed within the first 500 million to 700 million years of cosmic history. Based on the object's brightness, Nelson's team calculated that they might each weigh at least 10 billion times the sun's mass. One galaxy, in particular, was a gigantic one, containing about 100 billion suns on par with our galaxy and could have two nearby companions, suggesting that it was part of a galactic group. Their quoted properties are so massive that it's really hard to see how you can form those and keep our current models of cosmology completely intact, says Michael Boylan Colchin, a theoretical astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin. Apart from its mission of finding out the first few moments after the Big Bang, the James Webb Space Telescope has three other missions to carry out as it transverses in space. First, it is saddled with the responsibility of looking at galaxies. This is important as by understanding how matter is organized on gigantic scales, we can understand how the universe evolved. There also is the task of looking into the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems. With the Eagle Nebula's Pillars of Creation known to be some of the most famous birthplaces for stars, the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared eyes will be able to look into how stars are born. Finally, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to observe other planets more closely and deeply. The telescope's sensors will be able to peer at these planets in more depth, including imaging their atmospheres. By understanding the atmospheres and the formation conditions for planets, scientists can better predict if certain planets are habitable or not. With over $10 billion and over a decade spent in developing the James Webb Space Telescope, it is only fitting that it offers new and amazing insights into the origins and nature of our universe. As it finds its way around space, scientists and astronomers are banking on it to help further our understanding of the cosmos and, by extension, our understanding of our planet. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.